Hi, in this video we will see how to connect a sound sensor and a buzzer to a Lotus Kit and uh, acquire data in LabVIEW. So here you can see that uh, the buzzer is already connected to the digital pin 3 of Lotus Kit and a sound sensor here. I am going to connect this sound sensor to analog pin of uh, Lotus Kit. So here I am going to connect it to A0 of Lotus Kit. So I connected both the sensors. So you can see that I uh, uh, connected both the sensor. Let's do some programming and make the sensor work. Go to make up and pick initialize and close. So I interface two uh, sensors. One is uh, digital and another one is uh, analog. The sound sensor is an uh, analog sensor. So I'm going to read the decibel value of sound and I'm going to write the uh, digital uh, buzzer with the help of PWM I'm going to connect all this Linux resources make it to control then error to error out error out to error in error out to error in and then go to uh, connected uh, zero pin so I'm going to make it a zero and PWM channel is uh, mm, PWM channel I connected to third pin of Arduino so there is a digital pin so I'm going to set the duty cycle create control so I have to give duty cycle from here I don't want to <coughs> I want to change this to a dial so I'm going to replace it with the dial so yeah I need to change the duty cycle uh, scale of the dial to 0 to 1 so that's acceptable value in LabVIEW for PWM so that's it uh, created the dial to control the PWM and one more thing what I need to do is to output my uh, sound sensor that is reading uh, to a scale of 100 so I'm going to use a mm, let's use a horizontal progress bar by default this is to 0 it has set to 0 to 100 Let's check this one. So it is in 0 to 100. So the maximum value I will get for uh, analog read is uh, 0 to 5 volt. So what I'm going to do is to connect, I'm going to connect the progress bar to that by multiplying it with 20. So 20 into 5 which gives us 100 the value that is getting will be multiplied so the program is over I'm going to clean the sketch so here you can see the program let's close all the window and one more thing we have to set a serial port make it to control so most of things is over here so what this program will do is uh, whenever I rotate this uh, duty cycle my buzzer will go on so this will produce some noise so here our sound sensor will receive the sound from the buzzer and uh, will be indicated in the horizontal progress bar the volume will be indicated here so let's turn this on
minimize it so here already you can hear some sound or noise in this room here I'm going yeah the progress bar is changing is because of the noise produced by the buzzer so if I keep this close so you can see the progress bar I minimize it there is no noise there is uh, surrounding in my room so if I turn varying it the progress bar is moving so this is how uh, we can interface uh, um, a buzzer as well as a, a sound center so let's do another process with this let's stop here and we'll just do a program to uh, turn on and off a buzzer I'm going to stop this go to block diagram add another block here what we're we going to do is to create another uh, digital light the old channel that we have connected it to 3 and this one will set a button for this so we'll go so go and select a boolean and push button so I'm going to use the push button there to give control to the buzzer so once if I turn this program on I can turn on and turn off the buzzer using this switch here let's see this okay so this will turn the buzzer on and off thanks for watching this video